I've never once been what? like, would you please? Yeah. Pants on fire. Now, does it sound like somebody's projecting their lies right now? I don't care how much I'm projecting right now. She can't even hear us. There's other wedding it's, stress it's going you. on. It is me and you, listener. I also got a big birthday tomorrow. Eric's son, Max, is uh, turns uh, five five tomorrow. How is he? Six. Don't five. Think five, five tomorrow. Both five, of y'all are ridiculous. Five tomorrow. Well, I mean, well, how am I ridiculous? Because okay, maybe you're not. He's ridiculous. Uh, first of all, Riley, you were ridiculous during that song because uh, we were showing you photos from the comedy tour. I'm assuming it was what you were looking at, and you said my butt looks really good in it this. Does. Come look, and, and Eric and I are like absolutely not. Okay, I have not many a time to look at people on profiles for everyone. Well, maybe not hoodie, but a lot of y'all and. I have no problem with that saying, hey, does my butt look good in this photo? I work hard for said booty. First of all, let me just, let me just pause and let me do a Zach Morris timeout and talk to the listener. Okay. Listener, I have never in my life asked Riley to look at somebody on Instagram. Maybe she's heard me say something and said, let me see what this person looks like. And then I showed you photos. I've never once been Liar! like, would you please? Pants on fire. Now, does it sound like somebody's projecting their lies right now? I don't care how much I'm projecting right now. She can't even hear us. There's other wedding it's, stress it's going you. on. It is me and you, listener. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Anyway. Don't I'm you tell throw, lies on this show. They're not there. Right now, it's uh, Ask Riley. Now Look I'm, at Eric. He's I'm, all uncomfortable. I'm going to tag her back in. Well, I'm just yeah, saying, like, yeah, I definitely probably have, so it's fine. Thank whatever. you for admitting it. It happens. Everybody feel, does that with their friends. Everybody. I just feel a little awkward st- staring at a picture of your butt. Sorry. It's not staring at it. I was just asking. Never mind. You know what? No. I'll be my own cheerleader. Thank you very much. I'm sure it looks keep fantastic. Keep killing it. Yeah, keep All doing it. All your videos and IG, I'm like, I, you let's, know what? Let's get this Do work. Yes, train, let's get this train, train back, back on, on the, the track. track. Mm-hmm. We'll stop talking about cabooses. Badoosh. <laughs> Ask Riley. If a question for Riley, slide the DMs at Riley Couture. Eric will read the part of you. What you got for today, Eric? Riley, do you or Marshall ever get jealous of other people? If you do, how do you handle it? I think I may have found the one in my boyfriend, and I must admit that I'm super, uh, I'm a super jealous person, but I don't want to ruin it. Congrats on your upcoming wedding. I can't say I can't wait to see the pics, my man. Oh, my, my man. man. Um, I wish Marshall got jealous. He don't get jealous. That man is very secure in himself. And I asked him the other day. I was like, babe, why don't I? Don't you? ever get jealous of me at all ever and he had a very good answer he's like babe i was at first when we first met and you were talking about exes on the air or whatever but then you know when you explain to me your career and how you kind of have to be there for everybody men and women he was like i kind of desensitized myself to jealousy in that sense he's like also i just truly trust you he's like i don't i really don't think you would ever do that to us or our family and he's right i'm not like Cheating for me and him would be a deal breaker like we talked in the show the other day. So he's not worried about it. I wish he would get a little feistier about being jealous. Me, I am jealous AF. (laughs) I admit it. I am a crazy person. Back in the day when we first started dating and there was a lot of fitness people liking his stuff. I was like, who is this? What is this? How do you know this person? What is her blood type? (laughs) How would he know her blood type? I'm kidding. For real. What does she taste like? I'm kidding. It was just like I was... I don't want to say insecure, but maybe a little bit just because of my past. And I yes. was like, all of these beautiful women that had way better bodies than me that were into the fitness world that knew more about the fitness world than he did. And that was how we bonded over it. So I will full well admit, like if Marshall probably didn't love me as much as he did, I probably could have ruined it. Some guys don't jive like that. Like some guys won't mess with that. I do try to convince myself that jealousy is a useless emotion because it doesn't benefit anybody. Yes, but may I may I pause you for a second? Maybe. I think, and I said this, I want to say I self-diagnosed this at the beginning of your relationship. You were so used to being in horrible relationships. The second somebody came around that treated you well and like got along with the kid, and you were like, something's got to be wrong. So 100%. You, you were trying to Hyperdrive. find something on him. Oh, yeah. I was trying to push him away. As a matter of fact, like I had this saying, like I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop. And he's so cute because he would be like, uh, keep those shoes tied, babe, because I'm not going anywhere. What are their sandals? I, well, I don't really wear sandals. Okay. Sometimes. What are their Crocs? Don't. Oh, you go for, I you knew go, that was coming. You go four-wheel drive. No, I just That's feel right. like, okay, Crocs. if you're a jealous person, be open with it. Admit to it. Be like, look, this is where I am. This mm-hmm. is my secure insecurities. True. And hopefully he'll be okay with it. Hopefully he'll like try to nurture that side of you that you don't have to feel jealous after a while. You know, communication as per use. Like I said, I don't know what I did in another life to deserve Marshall, but like he, he dealt with my crazy from jump. So yeah, and didn't he write you a note today in your in your lunch? He's the sweetest thing. He is. So he made me cry this morning because today's thirty days mm-hmm. until the wedding, and he knows that I've been a uh, I've been Medusa lately, and I've been very stressed out no. and just very <laughs> on edge. And he was just like, "I love you. I, I there's nobody else I'd want to spend this life with you. Let's enjoy this the rest of this ride." Like mm-hmm. he's just. 
like I said, have zero. I must have been an angel in another life because yeah. he, he's really a good egg, that one. He's a prince of a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He is. So that's. Oh, um, I just got like wisty about it. It's yay. Oh, he's just, he's just perfect. I know you have a romance with him. It's fine. I think Marshall's dope. He is a good I, person. I, I, I like Marshall from the jump. So even though he's mean as a And you don't like anybody. No, I don't. I'm very cautious, <laughs> skeptically uh, cautious of everybody. But Marshall, I, I like from the uh, jump. So if you uh, have an Ask Riley, you can slide the DMs at Riley Couture, and Eric will do the honors of reading the question for you. Si, senor.